start with a thought on uh, on your goaltender. He hasn't seen a ton of action here and comes in and gives you a game like that. Yeah, no, he was unbelievable. Obviously, he's uh, stayed ready. It shows all the work that he's been, been putting in and, um, you know, came out, made some huge saves for us, and uh, especially down the, down the line there at the end. And um, it was awesome to see. We, uh, we often hear he's very popular, and you can see it too. Uh, what, what, what kind of makes him so so popular in, in joining the group? And and you see him do what he does out there, but it seems like behind the scenes he, he gets along well with everyone. Yeah, no, I think that's uh, you know how he gets along with with everyone. It's just uh, the way he carries himself, and you know he's always uh, asking guys questions, you know how they're doing and, and whatnot, and has a good uh, good grasp of, of everyone in the room. I think that's what makes him so special as a as a teammate, and uh, very fortunate to have him here. Minnesota didn't give up very much, and today up until you know you're up three nothing, then they pushed a little bit. But you just talk about the overall team defense and and how stingy it's been as of late. Yeah, I mean we're we're making teams come through five guys, and then uh, obviously our goalies have made some some huge saves at, at big moments. And I think uh, you know the commitment to defense uh, throughout the whole group is you know it's shown. It's the reason why we're in the position uh, and climbing our way out of the the spot that we were in because uh, you know we've really committed and buttoned down on the defensive side, and, and that's. Not so much just sitting back, you know. It's just playing a more simple game offensively, uh, and you know, sensing danger when when things aren't, uh, you know, maybe sure. gonna gonna bounce in the right direction. You know, we're not taking that chance. Uh, we're, we're having guys back and making teams come through five. I mean, you see in the penalty kill, it's better the last three weeks to a month. Yeah, no, I think um, you know it comes down to you know, the details of the game. Obviously, every every team has a distinctive kill or a way that they want to kill but a lot of it comes down to, to instinct and and having a lot of reps together I think you know you look at the pairs and um, not only defensively but offensively that go out there and guys are, are beginning to get uh, you know a little more chemistry knowing where each other are on the ice and um, you know the best kills in the league you know, you know Gully and, and, and Stu I was talking about you know are instinctual um, and, and for us for to be more instinctual and, and reading off each other and you know uh, knowing when to pressure when not to I think that's it's been coming along and obviously we've had su some success and we got to continue to build on it. Darnell, you, you mentioned the climb you guys are at 500 now what, what does that mean? This I mean the sun the sun maybe will come up tomorrow uh, but no <laughs> for for us I think just uh, you know knowing that we've played some good hockey and and won a lot of games in a row um, but uh, with the position that we put ourselves in we can't get complacent uh, we got to continue to stay hungry and push ourselves more and more to not only compete at, at the level that we're at, but I think we still have uh, steps and room that we can grow as a team. So um, it's been been great to, you know, climb and get to this spot. But like uh, like I said, we have a lot of work yet to do. For your game specifically, Darnell, like what, what do you what do you really like about the, what you're doing right now, what you have in your game? Especially? Yeah, I think just, you know, first and foremost, it starts with my legs, um, you know, not, not even just jumping into plays, but finding myself in good spots uh, defensively and able to break up plays. And, um, you know, obviously the, you know, being given more and more opportunity to go out there and, and, and play, um, it's been it's been good for me just to, you know, like I said, it all starts with my legs and, and getting back to, you know, the player that's uh, hard to play against. And I think that uh, doesn't always come with the physical aspect of punching people in the face or whatnot. It's, it's more so just being in, in areas and disruptive. And I think uh, it's been been good. And like I said, like like our team game, there's still more room to grow as this season goes on. You found a long way back on that back check to not the fuck. He sure had the rebound there. Mm -hmm. He skated a long way back. He yeah. Oh yeah, the legs the legs feel good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, uh, the legs feel good. So I think that's uh, you know you you want to go out there and I mean like my game just want to play with instinct and, and and feel the game and and play the game and not think too much and I feel like that's uh, the point I'm at. I'm not sure if it's just just me, but are you guys using the little the middle of the ice a little bit more? Like just seems things breaking out a little bit smoother through the middle of the ice. I don't know if that's been a yeah. focus lately. But it seems to me that that's a little, they're a little more down now. Yeah, nice. yeah, I think, I, I mean, our, our decor, there's been multiple guys talked about just, um, you know, being creative and, and making plays coming over zone a lot of times. Um, when you're not doing that, you, you resort to just going off the boards and, um, you know, the, the confidence to make plays with our group, I think, is, has been a lot higher as of late and that uh, has opened up the middle of the ice for us.